Hello everybody and welcome to today's product introduction, the AGN Armor Bundle. I'm gonna gu guide you through the product and share with you what we have made for you over the last couple of months. Okay, let's take a closer look. As you can see here, we made some general samurai clothing pieces, some NPC dresses like the one which I'm playing right now. Everything is this cloth animation, the hairband, the kimono and the pants as well. This depends, you can activate or deactivate this. Here you are seeing different chess pieces for different types of cultural identities from the Asian world, which could be then, as mentioned before, samurais, some Chinese or even some Mongols. We have made with our component system different hats, different shoes, different pants, and this is all gonna be combined um, in our usual dress up system. Here are also some animation examples where you can see that everything comes together. For the underlaying dresses, I made a couple of variations a basic one, which is pretty clean, and also the used material one, which you can change anytime. Let's take a closer look how this works. Here I just go back from game view. I'm gonna go now to the chest upper steel one used. And there are different um, arbitrary variations, like the C1, for example, which is more clean. The second interior slot is for the clothing itself. And then uh, you can swap these around and also add patterns and change the tints. For example, I have now opened this uh, red-yellow one. Let me pull this over from my second monitor. And here's our um, RGBA uh, tint pattern. Um, there you can change the materials anytime to uh, however it uh, fits your need if you want to have them darker or brighter or a white faction. This is working with um, every item. So you could also go in here in the um, chest uppers use dark, which is in this case right now this one. And as you can see here, you can change the colors as well. And the alpha value is the intensity of the uh, color tint. Okay, this is just exemplary. And this works with all samples. So it could also be applied to the shoes or to the pants. Let's take this one right now. I'm gonna open the Lex 03. And we gonna take a look at this one. And here, as you can see, you can make it even darker and brighter. All right. Some weapons are included as well. Katanas, spears, a bow with a separate skeleton as well for the cord to draw it, uh, and a shield. Here are also some of the heads I put in here. Different variations, and there you can also change any time the uh, material, again, with variations for ABC. And this then comes with different uh, tint samples. And you can change these also, however, uh, you like to have your faction be tinted. And I'm gonna give you right now a few more examples in an exemplary scene. Let's go to render scene. Gonna save this one. Da -da. No worries, it's not so much. We're just gonna go through it right now. Okay, as mentioned before, this is our base dress up system in the blueprint. Um, as in our previous product, uh, it consists of multiple um, skeletal mesh components, which will follow the uh, set master mesh component, which is in this case, the one from the mesh slot, which is based on the UE5 mannequin. So to say, this product only works with the U UE5 mannequin and not with the UE4 mannequin. Um, here are also morph targets for different faces, which you can change. I expose the parameters as well in the blueprints. So if you're gonna go in here, phase two, let's go a little bit closer. And as you can see, oops, is this one not applied? That's the correct one. He triggers these faces. Let me see why he is not showing this one right now. Refresh. this one looks strange let's see ah it was in a duplicated slot 
So where is he? He is here now. Well, I put him over and now it should work. I think so. Let's go in. Here we go. Face changes. And this is all for the uh, morph targets itself. But this depends if you want um, to use it with a meta human or with our base mesh. Um, I do believe the most uh, of users will use the meta humans um, as well, but uh, I developed also um, our base body, ported it over to the UE5 mannequin, and that, do that does work as well uh, without the uh, meta human bone overhead. Um, this depends. Okay, as mentioned before, uh, we made some clothings on the um, from the Japanese side with uh, takumis, uh, kimonos. Um, different types of um, heads, which you could also use for like an NPC or for a soldier. Um, this depends, and for sure you can also. This now needs to be resetted, and you can also give him any time um, a classy samurai head. However, you like to use it in your product. <coughs> okay, here also it's different in the gasas. And there are also material variations, so I'm gonna go in here right now. As you can see, you can also go um, really close. There's also a variation with an uh, opacity mask as well. If you want to look through it, yeah, let's cut it out. And this also um, all comes with a uh, cloth sim activated. Let me start the simulation here with this guy, as you can see. Closing and with this one as well, it's here. It's just right now I'm pretty slow because the scene is pretty full with a lot of uh, clothing characters. So um, if you just want to use it as an enemy, maybe you don't need it at all, uh, or you want to bake it down into one single SK mesh. Okay, yeah, here are some of the uh, Ming Dynasty, um, so to say, foot soldiers. You can change these as well anytime with a different. Uh, texture variations, I bring the product with a few material um, variants to uh, take a look um, as a starting point for you and as shown before with the other tin samples, uh, you can change that anytime and bring in your own colors and add the stuff um, however you like to to uh, have the colors appear in the end, right? So and this is um, then based on uh, different materials and for the head, for example, with this one, I um, made the parent of the material, is in this case the chest 04 green version. So, and if you want to have the colors in sync, I do recommend to put um, the, that's close to this one, put this over. Oh no, I used the helm right now, and not the, um, go back, click, click, and I need this one, we go to bros, and I need the green one, put it in here. And I do recommend then to, um, if, if you want to change th the values um, at the same time with the head tint and the chest tint, then I do recommend to keep the materials in sync um, with the parent correctly. So to say right now the uh, green chest material is a parent of, um, I mean, or the master of the head. And then if I would go in, for example, and change now the, um, tint part of the red channel or the green channel which is the uh, trim on both measures. Um, I try to keep this in sync as good as possible and then you can change that right now so to say you can make it red now press the OK and it gets applied as well to the um, upper parent in this case and if you want to make this one as well oh, that's pretty heavy right so to say I just want to swap it right now the green and the red one to this one and then you can change that as well. And the blue one is for the uh, second um, trim line. So if you want to have it, uh, for example, bring in some yellowish parts. Or yeah, that's good, I think. You can do that. And, and they are still independent. So to say you can still go in here uh, with the helm material right now. In this case, um, the um, B is the tint part of the... Uh, main helmet piece and this is something you can change um, independently from each other um, and that's up to you if you want to keep this in sync or if you want to tweak the values uh, separately. Yeah, as mentioned before um, some uh, banded or mongol dresses as well 
some more um, Chinese armor here mixed up right now with the uh, classy kimonos from the Japanese area. Also the used version, just many variations. And I think here is right now the what we changed right now. It appears red. And if I gonna deactivate it, it comes back to the um, parent what we uh, changed before. Okay. And here again, samurai variations. Uh, I made four variations of the uh, samurai chest itself. So you have um, the one with the kimono on top. You have a separate one, uh, whereas also the bracers um, directly connected to the um, forearm. So to say, you can uh, you can put additional bracers on top, but I would maybe not 100% recommend this one, to be honest. Um, yes, and there you can have also different uh, chest materials. Like mentioned before, this is now the B variant. And here's as well then the uh, variant with C, for example, if you want to use this one. And you can also go here in the green, white one. And this is then in sync as well. Okay, what do we have here as well? Now oh, when this happens, it's just then that the uh, second material is not applied to this one. Here we go, voila. Here are some more Mongols, here with different laminar parts as well. This can be also tinted and changed, like uh, sh shown here right now. This is um, the chest zero two, and this is now tinted. Do you believe it was the alpha chain? Yes, it was the alpha chain. And I also um, added the roughness multiplier where you can change things and the metallic part as well. So if you want to make this um, really heavy metallic or if you want to make it more leatherish, for example, this is also an alternative way to do it. Here are some more Bennett variations. And here this is all gonna work with um, our dress up library. So to say here the bracers right now, bracers 1B, and you could also put in some wraps some samurai bracers, something with more bolts, this one. And this is all working with our closing system. There's a morph target um, on each of the chests for the gloves equipped, like our other products, and they're gonna work all as well. Okay, yeah, um, here are also more of the um, Chinese people, um, or Chinese armor people, and here, Ah, that's good. I, I have here put it on um, our uh, base body um, in our blueprint. And here's, for example, um, another one, which is then uh, a meta human head exemplary. Um, don't want to go too this small. Let's take a look. Meta humans. This is a tall, normal weight. Right? So um, our base proportions does fit with a tall, normal weight version um, for all the dresses. And make sure to use the correct one in the meta human creator, and then everything um, should work without any problems. And here's, for example, another helm. You can also put them in different tint variations where you can change the um, the ribbons or um, the uh, strings in this case to get this in line with the chest and the headpieces. It's a lot, lot, lot of tweaking, right? But um, it's very ornate armor, so uh, it has to be uh, tweaked that it gets in line okay here are a few other ones and this is all um, um, as well uh, with a cloth sim for example take a look this one yeah i think right now you can see it and i also will integrate this one with the character editor and here what you see here right now is just that the uh, second layer is not put in here right it goes into the last slot, voila. Oh no, this was wrong. Let's go back, control V. Zip. This is for the ornate part and I gonna go in this form and then it goes in here. And let me check things. This is chest zero three. It goes in here. Voila. Now we have it. Okay, good. Yeah, this was um, just a quick overview for you guys. Um, 
what we have made here over the last couple of months it was a, a lot of work and love which uh, went into these guys um, i hope you enjoyed the ride i'm looking forward to your feedback for the people what we have made here and we are always welcome if you need some more information feel free to reach out to us and i'm gonna wish you all a pretty great weekend and hope to hear from you soon many thanks ciao